Hi. What's up, you guys? Today is mid-October. I think it's the 18th, Tuesday. And fall is in the air. I'm in New York. There's leaves on the ground. There's a crisp and everyone's craving pumpkin spice. And quite literally, there are few, very few products better than pumpkin spice date spread. Honestly, it might be the best flavor of date spread. I wish it wasn't such a weird seasonal thing. I used to sell it year round, might start doing that again. But the point of this video today is I'm gonna show you how to make a super easy, it takes like five, not five seconds, like two minutes, pumpkin spice latte with no added sugar because it's sweetened with date spread. Boom. Let's do it. So there's a lot of ways you can obviously make coffee and lattes at home, but I personally just brew coffee drip. That's it. And then I take my favorite almond milk, coconut milk, dairy-free beverage of choice. These are my two right now, super coffee and nut pods. Great stuff. No added sugars. Tastes so good. What I do is I froth these with a dollop of pumpkin spice date spread added to it. Because the pumpkin spice date spread is just dates, water, and all of those beautiful pumpkin spicy things like cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg, ginger. And so when that is frothed and blended in the milk, you pour the coffee or espresso on top and you have a pumpkin spice latte without any added sugar. Because let me tell you, Starbucks's, I did the research, it's a lot of added sugar. Yeah, a lot. It tastes semi-artificial as well. This is good, so let's do it. So I have this really cool electric frother. I used to have a hand frother on, and I got them on Amazon. I'll link both in the description of this video. This one's really cool though. So you just pour your milk. Which one should I do? Any preference? Super coffee? Let's go nut pods. I feel like I go nut pods most often. So we just pour this about an inch in there of milk, just so it fills like over the buzzy frother part. I'll show it to you in a minute. And then we take a scoop or two, or three, however many you want, of the glorious pumpkin spice date spread. And you guys, really try this. It's insane. It becomes everyone's favorite flavor after they try it. It's the best. So we take a dollop of date spread. Gosh, it's the best. So good. And I'll show this to you. We have the milk, the creamer. Creamer's ideal because these aren't technically milks, they're creamers. They'll thicken when you froth this. So you get that nice latte foam. And this is going to blend with that little spinny part as soon as we put it on this and hit start after I... <gasps> oh no. I gotta plug it in and not spill it first. Okay, so I re-poured the milk. The date spread, thankfully, did not really fall out. Now our base is plugged into the wall right here. We hit this little pow- ooh. It beeps. You hit power. Listen to this. She's foaming. Oh my gosh, that was so inappropriate. I'm so sorry. Look how thick it's getting. Ugh, so creamy. Oh my gosh, there is a hair. This is just the worst video, I apologize. But the latte will taste good. It's almost done. I'm gonna preview this. Wow. So now we have this really thick, foamy milk sweetened with pumpkin spice date spread. We have our wanna date mug, which I will fill with coffee. I have a cup filled with hot coffee. I like breakfast blends personally. And we have our yummy foam in here. Just let it pour on in. It has like a weird brownish pink tint because the date spread's brown and the milk's white. So, I mean, it's kind of cool. It looks like a weird Instagrammable pink latte, but wow, so good. It's amazing. And there's no added sugar. It's nice and foamy. Cheers. Gonna go drink this, do some work, and do all these like basic things because it's fall. So stay tuned for more amazing recipes using pumpkin spice date spread. She's the best. Bye guys.